Hello friends, let's create a message box uh, program in Visual C++. First go to file, new, Enamo. projects, then select MFC App Wizard EXE. Give a name to project, our project name is message box. Okay. Then select a dialog based, click next and uh, click finish. Okay. Initial dialogs are there. Let's delete all other components that we do not require. First put a button. Now to go to code view <coughs> of this button, double click on it it will create an event uh, for us on button 1 click ok now first let's test it if our <coughs> basic message box works or not so type me double s a g and control space it will open a hint for us me double s a g and select message box we can just type our message hello world and press f5 it will ask to build it yes okay this is directly executing our uh, program that means there is no error click button 1 it shows a message okay let's go further in it now we want uh, some input from user side so let's first define int a and uh, we will store user's input in this variable so a is equal to message box the first parameter let us see all the parameters that we can specify in message box the first one is a text that user will see so uh, let's ask user do you do, uh, do he does he want to answer the question or not ans wr answer it the second parameter is caption it will be displayed in the title of the message box so we can write it there q u e s t i and question and the third one is uh, which type of the button should be visible to user here there are a total uh, six different types of button we can specify the first one <coughs> like <coughs> for here in, in this example we are going to use yes no button so mb underscore y e s and o this will uh, display yes and no two buttons in the message box so let's test it first if uh, we see proper buttons or not save f5 yes click button 1 ok we have two buttons now yes and no now we will use a switch case statement to dis, uh, identify which button is uh, clicked s w i t c h switch a now a has a value and using that value we can decide which button is clicked in case of id y e s that means if yes button is clicked then we will display another message m e double s g e message box ok you clicked yes and b r e k break break test statement will break 
the execution from there now case ID no if no button is clicked then another message box oh you clicked no okay our program is ready let's run it f5 enter button one click it answer it yes oh you clicked yes okay you clicked yes the right message is displayed now click no oh you click no okay that means our program runs successfully now let's uh, test uh, if how can we can add icon in our message box to add icon uh, in the <coughs> last mb yes no add pipe sign and then uh, write your icon the text for your the icon we are going to display a question mark icon so type mb underscore icon 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 q u e s t i o n icon question and save f5 yes click button one as you can see question mark icon is there okay so there are different types of the icon over there and uh, you can also specify default uh, buttons to type a default buttons you have to uh, specify to specify default buttons you have to add a pipe sign and add mb underscore def bu double t o n 2 <coughs> it that means second button is the default button f5 yes click button 1 and you can see the no is the now selected by default uh, by default always the first button is a default button okay that was the message box program see you in another video bye